Hello everyone, welcome back to Design Schooling. In the series of prototype interactions, in the previous video, we learned about the open overlay interaction, in which we got a brief understanding with an example. Now, in this video, let's know more about the swap overlay interaction. In this, after connecting the two frames, you have the choice to swap the frames. Swapping will basically replace the entire frame with the new one but not dismiss an overlay. So let's create this example by using the swap overlay interaction. This, I will use these screens which I've already created by adding some elements. I will create a connection from one of this frame to the another which displays the information of that frame. When the user will tap on this image, it will drag down the information of that image. For this interaction, in the prototype settings, I will connect this frame to the another. In the interaction settings, I will set the interaction to on tap and change the navigate to option to swap overlay. For the animation, I will select the smart animate and select ease in and out back and set the duration to 500 milliseconds. Now let's preview this and see the interaction is working or not. There you go. As you can see, when we click on the image, it drags down the information without discarding the other information. Now for the reverse interaction, I will connect the second frame with the first one and set the interaction details as navigate to swap overlay animation to smart and select ease in and out back and set the duration to 500 milliseconds now let's preview this and see the interaction is working or not as you can see with the swap overlay interaction when we click on the image it drags down the information and when we again click on the image it drags up the information without discarding the other content by concluding this video i would like to say that interactions are the primary features used when building a prototype. Use them to show the different behaviors, effects and navigational patterns. In just a few minutes, you can turn your static designs into a realistic version of your website or product. So this was the last segment of prototype interaction series of Design School A. I hope it was helpful and exciting for you all to understand and know the different types of prototype interactions. Till then, stay tuned for our next series. And for more such videos, do follow and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.